Morning. So it's a busy morning for me today. Um, it's just me and my dad in. Um, Em's off because it's her birthday. Happy birthday, Em. 18 today. She's full on adult now. And um, I think Andy's going to Lincoln or something, I think he said. Um, but yeah, a little bit later, one o'clock. It's a um, yeah, really, really good friend of mine. Best friend, basically. Doz, who came to the pub with us the other day. He's having um, a christening of his child, Dolly. So I'm going to be off to that at, uh, at one o'clock, I think. Everywhere's looking very wet and miserable. Um, I'll just get the gates open and we'll get the cattle fed. You can hear him. They're all mowing. So as the door's going up, I will jump on the 130 and we'll start bedding round with the teagle on the back, the straw blower. But first of all, I've got to put the PTO on because nobody put this on yesterday to make my life easy. So that means I've got to connect everything up and, uh, and get that done before we get started. Yeah, things like that annoy me because everybody finished early yesterday and um, I was here working late and I've had to come in today to work and yeah, little jobs like that could have been done. But um, anyway, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dwell on it. I'm not gonna dwell on it. I'm gonna carry on. So we're on it now. We're straw blowing. We're away. So I can just control that spout, put it where I want. So we get straw all over uh, the floor of the cattle yard. So we don't leave anywhere that's not strawed. So there's a dry bed everywhere for the cows. Cattle, cattle, I need to keep saying cattle, not cows, because they're not cows. After I've blown all the straw out of the uh, bedder, I then have to back up to the straw bales there, and then I get it in here, like that. And then I just pull it forward a little bit with the floor, it's probably in a good position now actually, and cut all these bands so they don't get tangled up in the machine. We've got one nump to here with its head fast. You idiot, hey? Um, right, okay, I'll get a nine meter and we'll have to pull that that way. So I'm now just lifting and pulling it that way. He's getting it out. That's it, lad. He's nearly out. Get your head out now. He's out now. Dumped it. So even when I'd moved the trough, he'd still got his head stuck around the cut. It's just stuff you've got to look out for that kind of thing, because, uh, you know, fine, it's funny if he's got his head stuck for uh, a feeding time, but if you don't spot it and you don't see it, and he's there, all day or all night. Yeah, go and check on your cow. So here we go again, plenty more straw in different pens. <clears throat> They've got some hay to eat, there's some new ones. We're just entering the pen now that um, I fetched home last night from Gisborne. Get these guys strawed up. The Highlands looking a bit wet in the field, but they can handle it. Strong things then. This really annoys me about this tractor. It's still loading. It keeps knocking the electric spools out because it's still loading. So you'll be like, you'll be using this and then it'll just stop. Because it'll stop uh, putting the oil around. Manual spools, so much better for this job. On, they're on. They're off, they're off. And because I've been messing about with it now, and it's not been working right, not running to normal. I bunged it up. It's just what I do not need today. It's my fault I bunged it up, but a combination of them spools being crap and the John Deere loading, and then also um, the Teagle buttons. Yeah, it's my fault, I know. So what I've had to do is back all the straw up to the back of the machine. Um, I'll have to, uh, I've got the bar with me. We'll try and prize this round in the reverse direction to see what we can do. But I might have to 
pull some of the straw out that's under there because it's been packing it in uh, while I was turning around in that shed. I then get the bar in here and we prise it around until we get it somewhere. Prise it a bit more. And then we'll just have to pull the straw off um, each one of the paddles because they act like a carbon brick. All the while putting my hand in there, trying to circumnavigate all these very sharp blades. It's the nicest job on the farm, we love it. So that's it freed up now. It does turn. So that should go. So I'll take the bar back now. That's 20 minutes of my life I'll never get back. Yeah, that was actually an easy one sometimes because it was nice and dry straw that if it's wet straw he can be there literally I was trying to get it out so it gets really stuck between the side walls and the fans of those blades it's just yeah absolutely solid solid in hit it with bars hammers even tried the drill to get it out somebody said oh set fire to it but I don't think that'd work it's so compact and also set fire to it come on like it's a piece of expensive machinery that um, I don't fancy um, burning out. So my dad now is feeding out with the TM. Mr. The Meal coming out. And I'm just walking behind him because all the cows will start filtering in behind him. And then when he wants to come back out, we're blocking his way. So I'll just shift him. Come on then boys, come on. Out of the way, come on. Hey big fella. I thought you'd come to see me. Can you have a look at this? Can you have a look at it? I thought you might. Sure? Do you want to eat it? No. She could do with a clean for the TM. Dad's taking the TM with the spreader bale into this pen so we can get all these strawed up now. There he goes. Got a lovely British blue softer here. Hello, pretty. Oh, <laughs> don't like me touching him though. Yeah. Quite happy to lick me, but don't want me touching you. Okay, okay. So we're just running empty in here. Last few little dregs. Set. After M's milling yesterday, the barley side of the shed is really going down. So it's time for coffee time now. Um, time for coffee time, 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 time. Um, and then we've got a few cattle to get out and then just to walk around all the cattle, make sure everything's all right. Cause we need to check for pneumonia this time of year. We get this like damp, cold and then warm weather. It's, uh, it's not great for him, but uh, yeah, we'll get on with that. Drink time. So I'm just on the nine meter now, putting a bit of straw around, I mean, Getting everything mixed up today. I'm putting hay around. Here's grass. Don't ever get hay and straw mixed up with farmers, yeah. It really annoys us. Um, for some reason. And I've just done it to myself. So I've annoyed myself. <laughs> anyway, we'll put this out. Hay, we feed to cows, it's grass. Straw is just like the waste from the wheat and the barley. What we've got left, and we use that for bedding, although we do use a little bit for feed as well, but um, it's mainly for bedding. I'm Cutting it really fine uh, to get to to Dawson's uh, baby's christening. So um, yeah, I'm gonna uh, get off now. That's everything in there. My dad's got half a mix already, so we just need to put molasses and barley in, so he should be able to manage that. And um, yeah, I think he's gonna do it feeding up in the afternoon, hopefully. So in case the after party at uh, Dawson's christening turns into a bit wild and I'm not in any state to uh, 
to edit this video, I will get one up now so that I can um, so I can put it up so you guys can see what we've been up to this morning. Um, I'm really enjoying doing these videos. Uh, it's my new little hobby, um, and I really appreciate everyone that watches them and comments and presses that like button and subscribes. Like, it just makes it nicer. I mean, I'd do it without that. I'd just do it just to document what I'm doing, and then I can show it to my kids in like 10 years time and say, because you've always got your granddad, haven't you? Who says, back in my day, we used to do it like this. Well, I'll be able to say, look, get on that YouTube, you know, that out of date thing that probably went out, went out of date and there's this new app now that's uh, down with the kids. But if you go on that old thing, YouTube, you'll be able to see what we, how we used to do it. And um, yeah, I like, I like that side of it. So, um, I'll finish rambling on. I'm going to get in the house because I really do need to be getting on. I know I'm saying I'm rushing about and then I'm walking about talking to you guys. So, um, yeah, I need to get on. Um, thanks for watching. Goodbye. So, I've spruced myself up a little bit for this christening. Got my suit on. Business. Um, right, I better get on. Um, or I'm going to be late. Get to the church. Boom. <laughs> Responsibility of helping the parents one moral upbringing of the child, two education, the last but not the least, money. <laughs> <laughs> so, good parents, now are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duty as Christian parents? Are you sure? So are you ready to help the parents? <laughs> yeah. You alright then? Good do. <laughs> so me and Nick, long time, old time friend, now heading into the White Lady because that's where uh, Doz is having the after party. You can get some food, aren't we? A few cheeky beers, mate. Huh? Oh, nice. Like. <laughs> so as I'm at the pub, I forgot. We've got a mix of mentions today, so I better get this done somewhere out of way for people. I feel like a bit of an idiot doing it in front of all these guys, though, so I'm gonna do it over here. Um, oh, Doz, I need you to unlock your phone. <laughs> so it is a happy ninth birthday to Joseph Brownbridge, who I think is related to the Brownbridges um, that come and deliver us some cattle. So happy ninth birthday to you. And that's from your mum, dad, Harry and Joe. So, um, sorry that I couldn't do it in front of the mixer. Um, we've had to do it in front of this nice stone barn at the pub that we're here in uh, Conisborough. Uh, so have a great great birthday and yeah, I'll get back to the, to the guys. Nice little pub. So I've just had to come out of the pub um, to get away from the music. What I want to say is just, just going to end the video here because, um, yeah, I'm just going to watch the rest of the football with the guys. Um, if you've liked today's video, please remember to press the like button. Subscribe if you're not already. That Vic Vicar was just so funny. I would, should have put more up about him, actually, because it was just so funny. Father Desmond um, at, uh, I can't remember the church now, but if I remember, I'll put the, uh, I'll put the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. Anyway, see you later. Bye.